the all new Triumph Tiger 1200. The latest generation full size adventure bike from Triumph is all new from the ground up. So there's the new engine, new chassis, new suspension, new bodywork and design, new wheels and brakes, as well as a new electronic suite with cornering ABS and traction control. This one is the Tiger 1200 Rally Pro, the off-road spec model of the new Tiger 1200 range. Over the last generation Explorer 1200, which this one replaces, the Explorer 1200 was more of a touring bike. It was heavy, top heavy and not very suited for off-road riding. If you've got great level off-road skills, you could still do a fair bit of off-road riding on that. But what Triumph has done is made this more off-road capable so that you can have a full-size adventure bike and do a lot of off-road riding, touring, long-distance riding, a do-it-all big-size adventure bike. Now, Triumph has made no bones about the fact that the new Tiger 1200 is pitted squarely against the BMW R1250 GS. That's the one we're riding today, off-road and on-road, both the Rally Pro and the GT Pro, the road spec variant, to see what really has changed in the new Tiger 1200 range. The new Tiger 1200 is available in two ranges, the more off-road capable Rally range and the road-oriented GT range. The highlight, of course, is the new engine, which has more performance than before. The 1160cc engine is still an inline triple, but comes with a T-plane crank with a 132 firing order, which sounds distinctively different. But it promises more low-end grunt for better off-road capability. The new Tiger 1200 also gets a brand new chassis. The design is slimmer and sleeker, and the overall changes include the aluminium fuel tank that has helped Triumph focus on weight savings. In India, the new Tiger 1200 will be offered in four variants, with the top spec Explorer variants with 30 litre fuel tanks and with a radar assisted blind spot detection system. All models now come with electronically controlled semi active Showa suspension allowing several levels of damping adjustment with automatic electronic preload adjustment on the rear with custom damping settings. There are six individually customizable riding modes for the rally range and five for the GT range, which misses out on the off-road pro mode. So on top of those changes in the new chassis, suspension, the electronics, what Triumph has done is also shaved off a lot of weight. On top of that, this makes about 8 bhp more power and 8 newton meters more torque. Now, if you compare this with a 900 Rally Pro, or if you're somebody who's looking at the 900 and also looking at the new 1200, the bigger one, you get about 58% more power from that engine, 49% more torque, with just about 10% more weight. That's about roughly 20 25 kgs more than the 900s. But that's what we intend to find out. Is it still an off-road capable bike as nimble as the 900 Rally Pro? And does it make sense to look at this if you want a do-it-all adventure bike, a full-size do-it-all adventure bike? The 1200 Rally Pro may look imposing at first with its tall height and that big 21-inch front wheel. But on the move, it hides its weight and size quite effectively. On tarmac, it stays planted and in fact is quite up to the task when it comes to taking on some twisties. But when the tarmac ends, the 1200 Rally Pro shows its new off-road prowess. The wire spoke wheels now come with tubeless tyres and the 220mm of suspension travel offer superb performance. Brakes are top-notch and offer sure short stopping power under all conditions. If it's off-road capability one is looking for, then it certainly does not disappoint. Over gravel and rocky trails, the bike glides over all kinds of surfaces. The first gear is tall, so you end up staying in first mostly. But it has superb grunt to take on most of what we encountered on our test route. 
but with its tall stance and over 250 kg of weight, it's still a heavy bike. If you drop the bike, which is quite likely to happen on an off-road excursion, it still makes its size and weight felt. My tires are caked with mud. One, two, three. The biggest takeaway is that Triumph has made the new Tiger 1200 a completely versatile, full-size adventure bike. And this one is a lot more off-road capable than the previous generation Tiger Explorer. It's got semi-active suspension, you get multiple riding modes. And while riding off-road, we've done a fair bit of off-road riding over gravel, over rocky roads, over mud, everything. This one is still a lot easier to handle than the last generation Tiger Explorer. Overall, I think it's very well equipped. It's got semi-active electronic suspension. It's got an engine which is very tractable, goes over most surfaces without a hiccup. And uh, on-road manners are also very planted. You can take corners very nicely. You can go miles and miles over tarmac and when the road ends, you can do a fair bit of off-road riding as well. But it's still a big adventure bike. So if you are riding off-road technical trails like this, you'll need a friend or two in case you have a fall like I did, because to pick it up, we'll need more than just your strength because it's still a heavy bike at nearly 250 kilos or more. I think at 20 lakh 19,000 egg showroom, it's a well-equipped bike with all the electronic nannies, fantastic performance and great off-road manners. The GT Pro with its smaller 19-inch wheel and lower seat height makes it easier to maneuver on the road. It's still a big bike, mind you, but hides its weight and size with superb handling and dynamics. So that's a new Tiger 1200 GT Pro, the road-going model of the new Tiger 1200 range. Uh, we've mentioned the changes before, but most importantly, it's got less seat height, so about 25 mm less seat height. So if you think the Rally Pro is too tall for you, this one will be more accessible to you. Of course, it's 1 lakh rupees cheaper on the ex showroom price as well, so you save on that kind of money on the cost front. Uh, but it also loses on suspension travel. This one's got 200 mm compared to 220 mm on the Rally Pro. Uh, to me, if you're okay with the tall stance of the Rally Pro, that's the bike to choose in the new Tiger 1200 range. Over bad roads, over off-roads, this one can do a fair bit of off-road riding, yes. But the Rally Pro absolutely glides through all kinds of bad roads, no roads, everything. To me, it's the 1200 Rally Pro that's the pick. At 1 lakh more on the X showroom price, that's the pick for me. The new Tiger 1200 certainly has been transformed with a long list of positives which make it quite difficult to ignore. The pricing makes it even more appealing and it certainly deserves your attention and test ride if you are in the market for a full-sized big adventure motorcycle.